Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I am going to be doing the look from Miley Cyrus's Prisoner video. It's a pretty new song so if you haven't heard it make sure you go listen to it. I love it. I am so excited for her new album. It comes out this Friday. I'm so excited but she just dropped a music video when she dropped the song with Dua Lipa and she has the most beautiful full beat. <sighs> It's perfection. I'll pop a photo up here for you for reference, but that is what we are going to be doing today. Plus, she gets a little bloody, and if you've watched any of my Halloween tutorials, you know I love to get a little bloody, so we're gonna be adding that too. I really am just like itching to get in there. So before we get started, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment down below and come say hello to me. Tell me how excited you are for the Miley Cyrus album or if you're not excited for it at all, that's okay too. But I hope you're really excited about this look because I sure am. I can't think of anything else to say except I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching and let's get into it. I have clipped back my hair. This jewelry honestly might get in my way a little bit. I wish I had something closer to what she has. Hers was really chunky and silver and beautiful, but we're gonna work with what we've got. I have already primed. I used my favorite Benefit Professional and Milk Hydro Grip. I want a really, really full coverage look, so I am gonna use foundation today. I know I usually don't. I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever HD stick. I love this foundation for really full coverage looks. This one is in Y325. A little goes a long way with this foundation, so start light and build if you need to. But most of the time, you won't need to. I'm going to use my Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3 in 1 concealer. Mine is in I Choose You 014. I'm not really liking how this is laying on my face, so I'm going to move on to a different concealer. I'm going to go in with the Uoma Beauty concealer. Hopefully, this will cancel out all this yucky stuff we've got going on right now. There we go. That is better. Woof! Okay, that is so much better. Um, I'm honestly not sure what was wrong with the Beauty Bakery concealer. I've only used it a few times and I don't really remember how it performed in those times. Um, I do know that I love this Uoma Beauty concealer. It is kind of expensive, but I know they have sales. So make sure you keep your eye out on Black Friday. They'll probably have a sale. Um, I definitely got this on sale, but I really, really like it. Before we go in and powder, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. I love this bronzer on its own, but I also really, really love it to sculpt the cheekbone. So we're gonna lay it down and give us some shadowing to start so that the shadows will be even more defined. Make sure you use padding motions when you're putting on cream bronzers. Doesn't have to be clean, just has to be laid down. So now is the perfect time to powder. I'm just gonna use my Cody Airspun, one of my absolute favorites. The smile lines, the chin, all of the nose. I have a really oily nose, so I like to powder all of it. The forehead, cause I have a very expressive forehead. Um, then of course the under eyes, and then the eyelids. This just really sets the lids and makes them ready for shadow. Miley has got a bold brow with this look, so I filled them in a little more heavy-handedly than I normally do, but honestly, I'm kind of feeling it. Let's move on to the eyes. We are probably going to be using a few different palettes in this look. There's not a single palette that has everything I want, so we're going to start with, where do we get that? We're gonna start with my OG Jaclyn palette with just one of the neutrals. I'm probably gonna mix these two. Just gonna use it as a transition shade and a crease shade. Just really get the eye prepped. This is going to be mostly a black and gray eye look, but we can start with like a skin colored brown just to get things prepared. Okay, so I don't have a gray eyeshadow. Don't know if they exist. I'm sure they do, but I don't have one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my Life's a Drag palette. 
I really trust these shadows. I use them all the time, usually for costume looks, but this is a little costumey. So we're gonna go into it and I'm gonna use the white and the black. I'm gonna mix them together to create a gray and we're gonna start the shape of the smoky eye. And before we get too far, I'm gonna put some powder underneath my eye so that we don't get too much fallout. I'm just gonna use this Morphe brush that's angled. I think, yeah, it's an E16. The beauty of this look is that it can get a little messy and it's not really gonna be a big deal because hers gets messy. If you've seen the music video, you know that. Um, but I don't wanna start there. So I wanna make sure I'm intentionally messy and not accidentally messy. And I am gonna pull it out past the brow. We can already see the shape coming together. I'm very excited, but I am going to just take the black now and I'm gonna darken up the outside. And I'm really just going to concentrate it on the outer corner and up. There's really no point in going inside because we're gonna do a shimmer shade in there anyway. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush now. We're going really dark here. So I'm just gonna clean up the edges while I've got a sec. <laughs> so for the shimmery shade, I was maybe planning on mixing two, but I'm hoping this one will do the job all on its own. This is Underground from the Nikki Tutorials palette. And I think it will do really well to still kind of keep the look dark, but make it really shimmery and very gunmetal. So we'll see. I'm not completely satisfied with that, so I am going to wet down the brush again, and I'm going to go in with Ivy. I don't know if you can see that, Ivy right there. <laughs> and I'm going to pop it on top and just try to make it glow a little bit more. We're not as dark on the outside as I'd like, and it's not quite as shimmery on the inside as I'd like. So I'm basically just gonna keep layering until it gets to be what I want it to be keep layering ivy on the inside and then i'm just gonna keep layering some black eyeshadow on the outside and smoking it out and blending this kind of eye look is just a process you just kind of have to trust the process it's really annoying but once you keep layering it will get to where you want it to be and it will be so badass and miley cyrus and dua lipa will be proud of you at least I hope they'll be proud of me. If you're watching this, Miley, I love you. <laughs> if you're watching this duo, I love you. <laughs> Can you imagine if they actually watched this? I wake up in the morning and they're like commenting like, loved your video. <laughs> I would fucking gag. I would be gagged. I'm an avid podcast listener. I listen to a ton of podcasts, mostly NPR, but like I, I dabble in other things. <laughs> But I listened to a podcast recently with Miley Cyrus. It's called Call Her Daddy. Apparently, it's really, really popular. It's in like top 10 podcasts to listen to. But I had never heard of it. And I only listened to it because Miley was the guest. And she just seemed so cool and chill and down to earth. And I know there was like a period of time where everyone was hating on her. And like, I was in college at the time. And I was like, sure, let's jump on the bandwagon. But... No more. She's a badass bitch and she's doing what she wants. I love that. And she's sober and she's cool and she's chill and she's laid back. Like, I love that. I love her. I'm just going to pop some liner on the top of my lid. I'm not going to do a full wing. This is already so dark that I feel like a wing is just kind of going to be redundant. And it's going to take all that work that you put in and going to cover it up. I don't want to cover that up. We worked really hard on that. <laughs> So I'm not gonna do a wing, I'm just gonna do a thick black line and then we're gonna move on to some mascara and some eyeliner. Next, I'm gonna move on to eyeliner. I'm just gonna tight line and I'm gonna put this in the waterline. This is my Morphe Lights Out pencil liner. I can never get the cap off. Before I put on mascara, I'm just gonna take the residue black eyeshadow on my brush and I'm just gonna like run it in my lower lash line don't want too much. I don't want it to be too aggressive, but I do want it to be nice and smoky. Okay, I just popped on a whole lot of mascara. <laughs> Feels like maybe too much, but honestly, it's never too much mascara with this look. Next, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I'm going to use this Beauty Bakery bronzer. This is their Neapolitan palette. 
especially since I put on that cream bronzer. We don't need to be too heavy handed with this. And I don't like to use cream bronzer on my nose, so we're gonna use the powder. I'm just going to drag it down. She seems to have a really natural blush on for this look. So I'm not gonna use the one in the Neapolitan bar. I'm gonna move on to the Juvia's Place Sahara and Blush 2 palette. I love this palette so much and it has this really beautiful brownie shade. I have used it as a bronzer before, but it works much better as just a natural blush. So that's how we're gonna use it today. And I'm gonna dip it a little bit with this pinky one. I don't see a lot of highlight in this photo of Miley. That is my reference photo, um, but I'm a highlight girl, so we're gonna do highlight anyway. I'm just gonna kind of mix all of them together, go over the face. I'm gonna try not to go too heavy handed with the face highlight, especially since it really doesn't look like she has much on. What I am gonna do is go pretty heavy handed with my favorite, favorite loose Jaclyn highlight in extra. I do usually try to like stop myself at some point and not go too heavy handed in a normal look, but I'm just gonna keep going with this one. And I'm going down the nose, of course. Gotta hit the nose. The nose highlight is like my favorite. People shit on the nose highlight and like I get it. Some people think it looks like Rudolph, but like Tis the season, bitch. That's just how I feel. And I'm going to do the Cupid's bow highlight, which is also really controversial. People think it looks like a little glowing mustache. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to go over my contour again. Make sure everything's nice and blended. I'm going to clean up my contour just with my sponge. She's got a super fierce, super harsh contour. So I'm not really worried about a thick line here even though I literally just talked about blending. <laughs> Face is basically done besides the lips. So I'm gonna spray it down just using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This was the Pride one, other ones usually black. So if you watch the video, it looks like she's got a nude lip on, but if you cross reference photos from the video and the video itself, it looks like her lip is nude because she's got blood dripping down her mouth and it's all kind of dripped down with it. It's actually a red lip. So I'm gonna do a very bold red lip. This is Lost. It's an ultra satin lip from ColourPop and I'm pretty sure ColourPop discontinued their ultra satin lips and I'm not happy about it. It was their best formula and they just took it away. Please someone tell me that that's not true, but I'm pretty sure it's true and I'm really sad about it. Okay, her lip is a little brighter red than mine, but like we're gonna move on because I really love this. <laughs> Gotta take my little clippies out. I kind of wish I had like a wig mullet like her hair is because I feel like it would be a really close replica, but like we're gonna pretend that it's Miley Cyrus's makeup and Dua Lipa's hair. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Now we've only got one last step the blood. I'm really nervous because I like this white shirt and I don't want to stain it, but we're doing it for the art. She definitely started on her mouth, so. I got this blood in a kit. It's a vampire mouth kit and it's very smeared in the music video, so I'm really just going to take what I put on my mouth and I'm going to smear it down. My hair. The, uh, the last time I used this, I literally found blood on my walls. So like, it projectiles. Miley would be proud. My hands though. I would love to say that I can give you a tutorial on putting blood on your body, but you kind of just have to do it. <laughs> but that is everything for this Miley Cyrus prisoner music video makeup tutorial. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful. But this is a bold and beautiful look. Miley killed it on this one. I think we killed it too. This is fire. The blood is so extra and so fun. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this like weird, bloody, full beat journey. If you are new here, I love looks like this. I love 
big blown out looks. I love to add a little bit of blood to things. Halloween is my fave. This is like just a little bonus Halloween adventure, really. <laughs> I can't wait to see what else Miley has in store for us. Her album drops on Friday. I'm so excited. Honestly, I should be getting paid for how much I'm hyping her up, but <laughs> I'm not. Miley, if you need a spokesperson, let me know. <laughs> that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you super soon in another video.